Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nick Oren. Every week on this channel I post cool stuff about video production, YouTube, acting, and I give you tips and tricks on how to be more productive, more consistent, and more efficient making videos for YouTube. Today we're going to talk about DaVinci Resolve 18 and how to archive your projects that you've finished. You don't need them anymore. Where do you store them safely so you can reopen them in the future and they stay exactly the same? Let's go. This is going to be a very helpful video and you will thank me for this tutorial. So, you know, why you won't click the like button right now and maybe subscribe if you like what we're doing here on this channel uh, because you know we're filmmakers like you are and we would like to create a community uh, where we keep in touch and then we discover new things and make cool stuff together right so let's go quickly to davinci resolve open davinci resolve yes i've got davinci resolve 18.5 it's in the beta uh, but it's all it's 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 cool thick so Right, how do you archive your project? So you have to understand that you have to go to export project archive. Right, the difference between exporting the project and exporting project archive is simple. Let me show you. Let me open the project and you will understand everything I'm talking about. So when you're saving the, the project, right, you are not saving the media in the project. So basically what I'm trying to say is that let me show you what, what I'm talking about. So, I'm gonna go to my media over here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna delete it. Yes, I'm gonna delete the media, but don't worry. So, you see? Have you seen this? So this is happening when you are exporting the project. When you will open the project next time, you will see this. That's why you need to export the project archive because when you're exporting the project archive you will export the media as well inside that project i have this issue with uh, final cut pro when i was using it and it was so annoying but with this with davinci resolve the exporting the media archive is awesome right don't worry i've got my stuff over here i'm gonna put it back i'm gonna put it back and by magic is gonna appear here all right now if you understood and now if you understand how it works let's go back right i'm gonna close it close the whole thing down uh, go back again here davinci resolve 18 open the project here we are i can create a new project and here is my project that i already finished and what i want to do i want to archive it so the best practice is export project archive right so I do export project archive. I have to, uh, it shows me where I want to save it. So let me do this archive where I want to save this folder. Let me save it on desktop. Okay, how to install macOS archive, save. All right, so it shows me to save media files, render cache and proxy media. What do I want to save? As I mentioned before, this is going to archive and save everything basically absolutely every transition every media file every photo text uh, whatever b-roll you have a roll everything which is um, it's, it's a great feature i love it um but basically what i do personally what i do i don't save proxy media because i can recreate the proxy media if i need to and i don't save the render cache you want to if you want to do it next time you open this project or you want to save it and give it to someone you know you can do that if you have a lot of space obviously but because i'm creating videos for youtube and normally these videos are like what like two three gigabytes you know i don't want to to use this and just like to put everything on my hard drive and just to be there the proxies that i don't really need if i want proxies next time i'll open the project i, I don't mind waiting two minutes to, to render the cache or to remake the proxy. So I only create and save the project with the media files, but you can you know save the proxies and render the cache. It's totally up to you. It doesn't make a huge difference. As I said, this is not a big deal, right? But I only save media files, right? And I do okay. Copy media files and here's the file over here. Can you see it? There you are. Here it is the file. 
Let me move it here so you can see, right? And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this project. Completely delete it. Yes, I'm going to delete this. So that's it. It's deleted. Um, I'm, now I'm going to prove you that it's working. And basically, here is the footage that we saw earlier in the project that we used to, you know, make this is the media files that I used to, you know, edit my whole project. And I'm going to delete them again. I'm going to delete them again. And look what's happening. When I go to my archive, I go to users, Nico Carmen, desktop, Mac restart, and I see the same files over here. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to go to my bin over here. And I'm going to show you exactly the same sizes. 112709, 112709. So even if the files from that project were deleted, the archive saved me those files. And OK, and let me just go and open this project archive and see what's happening. Importing project. Here we are. Oh my God, where's the files? It's insane. Where are the files? Don't worry. Don't worry, <laughs> it's okay. The files are not in the bin. The files are, you just click here, you see? Click this link over here, and you have to go, you know where? You have to go to locate and go to your, here we are, go to your archive, media files. You basically, you can just click on this fold over here and just do open, and it's gonna find them straight away by magic, you see? easy friends and this is it it's such an incredible tool to save your projects and actually to save absolutely everything that you have into that project music transitions texts effects absolutely everything by magic goes in a folder with absolutely everything you know even the original files are saved it's just remarkable and it's so so easy and it works it really works i remember the times when i was using final cut pro every single time i was trying to reopen a project from two three years ago it tells me that it's not comp compatible with um with the new version it is just it's just like such a mess and this one is just remarkable how it works and but yeah keep in mind obviously uh, you have to know if you want to use it for your projects obviously it's not for everyone i understand that if you're working on bigger and um, massive projects obviously you would, would want to archive all that files maybe you prefer to keep your original files in a few folders just somewhere there and then you save the project and then you you know attach the project or just keep it in a folder there and when you open the project then you relink all the files from the um, uh, from, from from the storage or where you keep them it's i don't know i find it easily to delete my original files obviously archive uh, the project and then delete the original files like i showed you earlier and then just you know i know that my project is in one place with the original files and the next time i want to open it easy just double click and then i know all the files are in that folder so i mean it's not up to you how do you want to use it i hope you found this video useful and uh you know i brought you some value i really hope i did and if you like the video please give this video um thumbs up and uh, you know subscribe if you think that i brought you some value today and you know be sure i'll be here next time with more cool features and stuff i love davinci resolve and i'm going to share with you guys all the tips and tricks i know how to create videos easily faster and how to be efficient consistent and be happy creating cool stuff i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself bye bye